See Mark Few kind of really wired in on the fact that he wanted to see this thing postponed instead of canceled. Sure. I think a lot of the coaches, as he mentioned, I've been seeing reports of this all day on social media, is just that they wanted to just kind of wait it out a little more, see if they can do right for the kids, maybe be able to play this right. tournament. So that's kind of been the big discussion on social media. I mean, you media. talk about the impact beyond just the players and the teams. A lot of folks bought plane tickets to fly mm -hmm. to come watch right. tournament games, tickets to watch the games. I mean, the ripple effect is huge on this. It, for sure. it absolutely has been. And of course, they talked about needing to balance that need to continue with the games because right. so many people had plans, so much money invested in this tournament, balancing, of course, the exposure of this virus that we know has killed people. Um, Mm -hmm. and, and needing to make sure protect yeah. players and fans. And that really is the big perspective. And athletic director Mike Roth actually spoke to the media today, and those were his exact sentiments. So. But when it gets taken away from us, we realize how important it really is. But sometimes we have to put it in the scheme of things, too. And uh, health of our society, the physical health of our society is, uh, is more important. And th th there's no argument on that one. So, yeah. Just like that, I mean, everyone's kind of, I mean, I think everyone understands, you know, this is like the bigger picture of it sure. all, that this is more than just sports. Right, it, when you're dealing with is. human lives at risk, it's the right call to make, but it's for sure. not an easy one, that's for sure. Definitely. Thank you, Karthik. The Gonzaga women's basketball team also, one of the, we mentioned, had a chance yeah. to host. I mean, this would have been big for them, top four seeds of every region, and the women's bracket gets to host. Uh, GU could have very well been one of those teams. Uh, those games are played by the top four seeds in every region at the uh, first two games at their home side. Uh, this would have been the first time since 2014 the women's team gets to host. So, I mean, just I'm sure a lot of disappointment for a lot of Zags fans who thought they were going to get to go watch some yeah. more games over there in the Kettle. Yeah, certainly not easy, unprecedented. I mean, only thing we can do is move forward, right? Mm -hmm. My goodness. There's been a lot of reaction, of course, from the college basketball community about the cancellation of the tournament. Ryan Woolridge tweeted he plays for Gonzaga. So you're telling me I transferred to not play in the tournament? Yeah. Yeah, grad Gosh. transfer, he's not going to get to play any more games. A lot of coaches, though, are trying to see if they can get one more year of eligibility for some of their seniors. And then we also had a quote from uh, Lisa Fortier, the head coach of the women's basketball team. She tweeted out uh, just talking about how she felt deeply for the players right now. So sad for all the NCAA athletes and every family person uh, dealing with everything that's been going on uh, with the virus and keeping everyone in her prayers. So just a lot of big news.